Our next color variation is the shirt color. For the shirt color, we're going to be using any body pattern and then we're going to measure the neckline. Same process as we did for how to measure the neckline of a pattern. So first off, we're going to start with point one. Point one is on the lower left hand and then square right, half neck measurement. So the measurement of the neck is, half neck measurement is 19.75. And then we do point one to point three, going up seven centimeters. That's point three. And then we square up across and complete the rectangle. Okay, next is points 1 to 4. Points 1 to 4 is 3 fourths of the measurement of 1 to 2. So we measure that. Get your 3 fourths. Mark. Next is, that's 4. Next is points two to five. Points two to five is point five going up, and then you connect points four and point five. So point five CM, and then you connect it with the curve. So you get your shallow curve and connect. That's point five. Point one to six. Point one to six is going up half of the measurements of points one to three and then taking out or minus one cm. So that's 2.5 cm. Mark it. That's point six and then square across. Next is point seven to eight. Point seven to eight is mark point seventy five going in. So that's point eight. Okay, and then from this point, you're going to draw in the outline or the design of your collar. So the best way to do it is to com um, connect points um, three to eight. So this is the base of your collar from this point where the broken line is at, which is point four on the top part, connect it to eight by designing your collar. So you could use a straight ruler or a cur curved ruler up to you. Let me sh do it with a shallow curve. So I'm just, from point four, I'm just creating my design. And then I connect it to point eight as instructed. That's my color design. Okay, next is points five to nine. So points five to nine is extending point five by one centimeter and then making a curve out of it. So this curve line at the bottom, I extend it by one cm. That becomes your point nine. And then you connect it 
to 0.7 with a curve. So just get your curve ruler and connect it. Okay, now you're going to also mark in that area your button hole. So your button hole is about 1 cm. So mid part of that, just measure 1 cm. And that's your button hole. Don't forget the label. So center, the center back, the center back will be on fold. So mark your unfold line. And then mark this as shirt collar or one piece collar. And that's your collar.